Hey guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. In this video, we have Tucker's Long Shot Thanatos with us, and we're gonna be going over our new simple long shot kit that we've been prototyping and getting to work for the past couple weeks. Uh, so, generally, it's a 3D printed kit with uh, some replacement parts for the original long shot internals. It comes with the new bolt, plunger tube, plunger head, spring rest, and it comes with your brass barrel. I believe that's everything. For now. For now, yeah. Uh, we have plans to implement some other things, but besides that, it's working really well for us. Uh, this is Tucker's Fanato, so he has Orange Modworks trigger, still got the stock catch, and then he has his homemade pump grip. Uh, you guys can see there, we have the yellow bolt sled in there, because this is running a stock bolt sled, which we have reinforced with our Mod Bros upgrade kit. It's a simple thing that you glue on to the original bolt sled. Can't remember if we had to trim any of the bolt sled. No, I think so, right? we had to add stuff, but then we fixed that. Yeah. So this is our first prototype. We've made revisions since then. So the one you're seeing right now won't be exactly the one that we're selling. We also plan on having a variety of different options. So we have this one, which will work with a stock sled that you'll epoxy on, and it'll be really strong and reinforce the stock sled. But then we also, uh, we respect people's ideas to believe that this might not be strong enough for what they want. And so if people want to do a replacement bolt sled, we're also gonna be releasing another option that will just not require glue. You can just bolt it onto any upgrade bolt sled, we believe, and it'll run with our plunder tube. I like the metal ones. We might have one that's different because the, what is the Orange Mod Works bolt sled is a little different geometry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can't promise that it'll fit with all the bolt sleds because we don't really have any of them, but we will try our best to make it so it'll be compatible. So that way, if you don't trust 3D printed and stock sled, you can run any upgrade bolt sled and throw in our lipless bolt. So as I said, it is a lipless plunder tube, which is running our half inch sink drain, which is like ever so slightly bigger than the stock half one. Half inch, one and a half inch. Did I say one inch? You said half an inch. Oh, it's a one and a half inch sink drain plunder tube. Which, which is, I think it is point oh four inches bigger than the stock plunger tube's inner diameter which isn't a lot but it's definitely enough that you need to mm -hmm. get new parts and also you get a little bit more air volume yeah yeah just ever so slightly more air volume it's also metal so there's like differences with like friction and everything and then going lipless in our opinion is vastly superior to the original one you all you'll have to do is just take out the pin and you'll take out the original bolt sled uh, the original plunger tube and bolt and you'll just put that aside because you won't need it uh you'll reuse the stock plunger rod because it works well yeah. enough works well enough uh and then we have a skirt seal plunger head that will just screw on to the original plunger rod and then we also have a spring rest which is those two part things that clip onto the back like in the omega kit like in the omega kit and then you can quickly change your spring without having to take off the plunger head very nice and then that'll just go in the back of the plunger tube and then you'll get our metal plunger tube, which will cut to length. And then you'll also get on this side, there's that little, I wish we had a stock long shot plunger tube here. Fuck, we might. Close. <laughs> oh, there's one in my room. I'll be back in a second. Okay. I'll talk about other things. Uh, and then that, you'll use the stock plunger rod and the stock catch. We would recommend using an upgrade catch spring but we won't necessarily be selling those unless we can find a good replacement one at Ace, and then you'll just use the stock trigger. Uh, the intention for this kit is to not necessarily be like the top, top tier of performance. Whilst it definitely could, we're using a majority of the stock parts trying to reduce how much you need to replace and how much excess parts that you're gonna just get rid of, and then also, you really don't need that high of a spring. This thing is running the four, 12 to 16. 12 to 16, whatever spring. He's talking about this little dongle dude on the side. Wow, way to cut me off in the middle of what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is one of our simple kits, which is basically we're trying to ma maintain use of a lot of the stock internals. That way you don't have to replace everything Oh, it was just right there. Right, right there. And by using a majority of the stock internals, we it's easier for manufacturing. We don't have to create as many parts, but then you also 
it's a little bit cheaper, which is our hope for this. Uh, so this is not meant to necessarily be like the upper, upper echelon, like top tier long shots. But it can hit that. It definitely can hit that mark, but wouldn't necessarily say that it would be designed for that. Yeah, uh, you can end all be all. You can easily throw like an eight kilogram spring in here with a brass breech and hit 200 if that's what you want. Very easily, it's very efficient with the air. It's got a great air seal, good skirt seal pulling your head. You can easily get that. But this one currently has the 12 to 16 kg. Yeah. It's either a 12 or 14 or a 16 kg spring that Tucker has. We forget where he brought it from, but it's a relatively decent strong spring and that's why we wanted to test it with this and it's been holding up well. We installed this into his blaster. Two weeks ago. Two, three weeks ago? Yeah. And we've been like fiddling with it a lot, uh, changing the design, but also just like firing a lot of shots to maintain that it actually will prime and hold and not break, which is one of the main concerns people are having was that we're using stock sled and 3D printed. It probably won't survive with high spring yields, but I would like to say that it does fairly yeah, well. For sure. Um, but yeah, additionally, one thing that I skipped over because I can figure out how I want to say it, but with the plunger tube, you'll get this small tab will have a small 3D printed piece that you'll just glue onto the side of the plunder tube and that will hold the plunder tube in place because you're doing a lipless design. Uh, there's no front, those front plunder tube support things will need to be cut away uh, in order to use our bolt. It's a very simple thing you can do with like snippers or a Dremel. Doesn't take much effort. It's really easy. And then you'll just glue the little tab on the plunder tube and that'll keep your plunder tube from shifting around. Uh, this current design is the sleeper breech version. So this one that Tucker has will feed both full length and half lengths. I am currently working on a pusher version, which would also feed both lengths of darts, but would just be a little bit easier and you wouldn't have to make a sleeper breech for it. Or I guess we wouldn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, what else should I say? Uh, it's... Iron pads. Well, I'm going to change the firing test. Fire, right. Firing test and then internals because it's easier mm -hmm. for the filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have the, I have an 18 mag right here filled with two FEJs. I have a Talon mag and Talon adapter filled with three ACCs and three worker Gen 3s. And it's just, I'm going to fire them off just for showing that it can, showing the numbers that it can hit. All right, it's kind of hard to see with the light there, but you guys can see the blue foam chambering of a full length. with a full-length FEJ on that first shot and uh, 253 on that second shot which is generally the norm that I've been getting out of this lower 200s it can hit but it's not typically what it would hit now he's swapped over half lengths three workers I have the talent mag in there the workers are gonna go up first and then the ACC's are gonna fire 263 and shattered that worker. Two forty three with the second worker. And there's the last Ooh. don't want to break a worker on something besides a soft surface. Two two ninety six which feels wacky. Feel a little high for what you've been getting. I'm now at the ACCs. 240, that missed the owl completely. <laughs> God, that was so loud. <laughs> 294. Maybe it is hitting 90s. Because that's. Maybe now that you've actually lubed it. Yeah. And ACCs are light darts. True. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. Mm hmm 309. So maybe, maybe it is in fact hitting those high numbers as a possibility too. Um, I'll hate that it does. That. Hitting 300s with this setup is fun. I got an average across those, what was it? eight shots of 234 which isn't 
great, but 234 isn't, is over 200. Isn't great, but we just put some like lube into this right before filming, so maybe it needs to be worked in a little bit before it's actually hitting consistently. Yeah. 234 is definitely not something to shy away from. That is... And you fired three different kinds of darts. Yeah. So your average is going to I'll put up the low. averages of each dart on mm -hmm. the screen. And I'll fire one more full length. Some people say 10 is the best bare metal. All right, that fat last full length hit 220. So I'll have those averages pop up on the screen for each dart type right now. And... So a full sleeper breach with a foot of brass a let's assume 16 kg spring yeah hitting two 270 270 okay. yeah can't really say anything without the numbers and the math but good numbers right off the bat with very little work and this is arguably too short of a barrel for this air volume mm -hmm. um if you have this and you put like a scar or something on the end, then you'll be yeah, you right at where you You are. put our Gandalf on the end of that, increase the barrel length out a couple inches. You should be golden for what you want. Um, but this is hitting, I don't know the definitions, super stock, ultra stock. I'd say ultra stock. Ultra stock performance for a relatively cheap hit. And um, lots of easy stuff going on in it. Uh, yeah, the only... Uh, like I said earlier, the only shell work that you have to do is those two on each half of the shell. There's a little piece that like comes in and holds the front of the plunger tube. You just have to cut those away so that the new lipless bolt can fit all the way through there. If we changed our design for the for the bolt that would use a reinforced bolt sled, we you wouldn't have to do those cutting. But for this one, which uses stock clip in order to reinforce those sides, you have to. It's like three minutes of work yeah it's such a small it. thing i honestly forgot that i had to do that mm -hmm. because it's just something you can go in with a dremel and it's gone or snips and just snip them away yeah. but so now we'll take it apart and show off the intro yeah uh we'll be back in just a second all right and i am back taking apart the long shot i have opened thanatos up and there are the insides um let me take all this out for you all the important shit's back here. So I'm gonna show you the plunger rod first. I have the, um, we're still not sure, but I think it's the 16 kg long shot spring on there. And up here at the front, we have a new plunger head that we designed. That is a cert seal plunger head that goes directly onto the original long shot rod without any modifications. And um, it just screws right in there using the original screw as well and back here we have a spring rest that's modeled after the omega one it's been working just fine for me it sits right inside the plunger tube and sits right on this um wall back here reinforced by the shell itself and also holding back any spring loads you want to put in there uh, i had this i currently have one sitting on one of my old rods that's a 25 kg and it hasn't shown any sign of wear and tear and that's really good to know because this is you want it to last um so that's that there it's really cool and we just have this is a little little guy we were talking about earlier glue right onto the front of the plunger tube and it sits right in the shell um in that little hole there that the original a little hole there that the original one will use um and this is our this is the first prototype of the reinforcement for the sled that we were doing uh you epoxy it directly onto the sled and then the pin goes right through reinforcing it with both a mechanical and a chemical bonding and back here um you can notice the color difference we actually didn't um print it all the way out as long as it needed to be but that's an easy fix and we fixed that with all the newer versions um, but we just took a piece off of a failed print and glued that on and it's been working gangbusters and we have the sleeper breech back here the 916 glues directly into the black reinforcement and um, goes into the 17 30 seconds in here we have a couple more reinforcement points to connect it to this the sled and redistribute the force a little bit more um, they are a bit thinner on the newer ones because we're having some trouble feeding with from a mag because um, it would catch on the lip just a little bit. 
but now we've fixed that and it's no longer an issue and it's been working beautifully. Um, and as we mentioned, it will come with a, if I can get this out, beautiful. It'll come with a piece of 1732nd foot long barrel that we've cut off um, for you. Um, you don't have to do this. I was having issues with it. Um, everything was slipping around and the E-tape wasn't holding just great. But now it's working fine. Um, beyond this kit for the long shot, I have a couple things long shot based coming down the pipeline. Um, I'm working on a I'm working on a takedown long shot that's fully interchangeable, fully customizable, uh, fully modifiable. It's sort of like um, an Ace and a Sita and a Caliber and all got together and made something real cool. And um, we have one kit that we're currently prototyping right now that's going to come with a few different parts. It's going to be compatible with the simple Sita kit. And instead of using this, we're having it set up for retaliator springs. So like our Hillmans that we use, or if you guys have a um, BT-27 or Prophecy Springs, it's gonna be fully compatible with those. And um, it's currently in prototyping. We've gotten some pretty good results out of that so far, and we're pretty happy with it. It's still very much in prototyping, but it's nearing the finalization of what it can be. Um, and that's exciting. And beyond all those things, um, I have a few smaller kits that I just haven't gotten around to actually testing. We have the Big Bad Bow kit for all you Big Bad Bow fans out there. We have a, we have a knockdown kit, um, that is going to be sort of like, uh, I think it's Meeker, but it's going to be closer to my knockout. Um, and it's going to be just... I'm not going to call it a pop-in kit because there's a little bit of shell work that you have to do, but it's going to be almost drop-in. It's going to come with a sleeper breech and a magwell made for talons. And I also have a talon claw kit that makes it be able to run off of this and my new um, skirt seal plunger. And I think that's everything we have working on right now, unless Jacob has something I didn't mention. But... I'm really excited for this kit. It's it's going to be really awesome. It's already hitting great numbers, and um, it should be going up this week. I know I lied on Facebook and said it was going to go up like a week ago, but we hadn't fully tested the newest revision of the sled. But now that we have, it should be going up very, very soon. I still have to crunch the numbers and get a price, but I'm thinking under 50, uh, under 55 and it should be awesome so you keep your guys keep your eyes out for it you guys and um hope you like this video go ahead and check out our patreon our instagram our etsy that's what i was looking for go ahead and look at our etsy store to get kits like this our hmi or simple Sita, or gandalf anything else that we have up there at the moment and uh, with more to come. Go ahead and hit that bell icon so you can get notified for when our videos come out. Uh, I've sort of fallen off on editing just because my laptop's giving me grief, but we should have them coming out once a week again, starting this week. So I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.